Uh, I am the uh, closing session, mostly just saying thank you everyone for attending both virtually and in person. It's been a fantastic day, a uh, whole bunch of interesting uh, talks. Uh, right after this, we're going to do a rebroadcast of uh, Marco's keynote from earlier in the day. There were some technical problems we'll be recording. Uh, stick on if you want to see that live. Otherwise, we'll have it uh, recorded so anybody can watch it. Uh, I wanted to talk a little bit about some of the trends that I saw today. Uh, one of the most interesting ones, since I've got eye contact with Mitch at the moment, was uh, around the war stories. Uh, upgrades came up again and again and again as something that I think that we need to work on as a community. Uh, going back to my opening statements, I'm actually super excited we're talking about upgrades because it means that we've got this stuff in production now and we need to figure out what to do with it, which feels like service meshes have moved to the next um, level of uh, complexity and maturity, which is just so exciting to go to Williams points from the panel. Uh, we're going to get to plumbing eventually. Um, one of the other talks I really enjoyed was the uh, hole in the pocket. Uh, it's always fun for folks to bring up the things that you end up getting surprised by when you go into production. Um, I know I've definitely been surprised by costs. I really loved calling out the um, AZ aware routing in particular. That's one of those that'll get you. Um, and I'm sure you noticed that upgrades were a deal there. And then uh, Christian came on and talked a little bit about upgrades and zero downtime deploys and that kind of thing. And we had the lightning talk on canaries. And so I think that that's uh, one of the big themes is maturity and actually operating this in production. Um, I think the other big thing that I saw that was uh, today I learned was a lot of the eBPF and WASM conversations we've been having. It's cool new technology. It's super exciting. I'm really looking forward to where it's going to go, but it's not mature. I think it's the, the thing that we need to start figuring out how that will fit in and solve the problems of today and the service mesh. And with that, uh, again, thank you for everyone that attended. Thank you to the speakers. Thank you for the folks who have been attending virtually. So glad that we got to put this on. Uh, it was a fantastic event. Uh, and have a great rest of your KubeCon.